Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this ROS2 tutorial, we explain how to correctly install ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco in Ubuntu 24.04. But before I start with explanations, it's very important to explain this table. This table represents a list of ROS2 distributions that are currently supported. And you can see here at the top of the list Jazzy Jalisco. Its release date was in May 23, 2024, and the end of life date or EOL date is May 2029. Consequently, if you have some doubts about the version of ROS2 that you should install and study, Jazzy Jalisco is currently the most appropriate option, mainly because of its end of life date. You also have Iron Irvini, whose end of life date will expire soon, that is, it will be in November 2024, and you also have an older version of ROS2, Humble Huxbill, whose end of life date is May 2027. Next, let's explain how to install ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco. For that purpose, it's very important to go to this website. Here it is. And over here, you need to select your installation option. Currently, there are two options. The first option is the binary package installation, and the second one is building from source. Now, I suggest if you're a complete beginner to ROS2 to use binary packages. Why binary packages? Because binary packages are all already pre-compiled ROS2 packages and more or less you just need to download them or clone them and to do a few steps and you will be able to run ROS2. For more advanced users who need to modify ROS2 or to change how the packages are built, I suggest to use build from source. Now, a lot of new viewers and new people studying ROS2 are not aware that ROS2 distribution is usually associated with certain Linux distribution. In the case of ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco, the suggested Linux distribution is Ubuntu Linux 24.04. Consequently, if you want to use and install ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco, I strongly suggest you to install Ubuntu Linux 24.04. The installation might not work on other Linux distributions such as Linux 22.04 or a similar distribution. Okay. Now, over here, you need to click on Debian Packages. So do the right click, and let's open it in new window. And let's start with the installation procedure. First of all, we need to set locale. To do that, open a terminal by clicking here and searching for terminal. And over here in this terminal, let me just clear everything, we need to write commands. Let me resize this before I actually write command. So let's first check the locale. And in my case, everything is already set up to UTF-8. However, let's just run this command to make sure that everything is OK. And over here, let's type your password. Then let's enter this command. Then this one. Then over here, let's do this command to export this encoding. And let's again verify locale, although in my case, nothing changed since locale was already properly set up. Next, we need to enable required repositories. First of all, you need to enable software properties common. That is, you need to enable the common universe as well as the other universes necessary to run ROS2. So let's execute this one, then let's execute this one, and let's press enter. Next, we need to add ROS2 GPG keys. To do that, we first need to run this. 
sudo apt update and sudo apt install curl. So let's do that. Next, we need to execute this command. Okay, next we need to add the repository to the sources list. So let's execute this command. Next, we need to install development tools. I suggest that you also do this, although this is an optional thing. However, let's do it. Okay, let's continue. Now we can start with installation of ROS2. First of all, run this sudo apt update. And then after that, run sudo apt upgrade. And do yes. And over here, you have two options for installing ROS. You have the desktop installation, which is a full ROS2 installation, including ROS to RVs, demos, and tutorials. So let's install this one. Another option is just to use a base or ba bare bone installation. Over here, don't forget to press yes. And this is just basic ROS2 distribution with basic packages. You will have communication libraries, message packages, and command line tools. I don't suggest for a complete uh, newbies to install the base installation since it's really rudimentary. However, for people who want to, for example, to install ROS2 on Raspberry Pi, this might be a good option since this is a lightweight version. And over here, you need to wait probably several minutes. After several minutes, this command will be executed and ROS2 is installed on the system. Over here, you have an option to install additional RMW implementations. However, for people who are completely new to ROS, this is not suggested and simply skip this step. Okay, so let's run a demo example. Whenever you want to run anything in ROS, you need to source the environment. Sourcing the environment means that you are actually executing this setup.bash file that should actually set the ROS2 configuration, properly set the environment variables, and do some other configuration, which you don't see, and it's happening behind the scenes. So let's start from complete scratch. You can close this terminal. Then you can open a new terminal. And here you need to run the source command. Here is the source command. Okay, now the environment is source. Let's run a demo example. This demo example will do two things. First of all, it will run the so-called talker node. This is a publisher node that will publish a message. To run this node, we need to execute this command. ROS2 run, then you have demo nodes, CPP, CPP stands for C++, and over here we will run the Docker publisher. If you run this, you will see this. Publishing Hello World 1, Publishing Hello World 2, Publishing Hello World 3. These are the messages or strings that will be published through an appropriate topic. On the other hand, let's open a new terminal and in this new terminal, let's run the subscriber node or the listener node. The listener node will actually listen for the message that should be transmitted to an appropriate topic. It will receive that message and it will print the message on the screen. So again, to run any program in ROS2, you need to source the environment. Consequently, you need to execute this and then you need to run this demo node. Again, ROS2 run demo nodes pi listener. Notice the difference over here. We are executing actually a Python file over here. However, in this terminal, if you move all the way up, 
you will see that we are executing a C++ code. However, from the ROS2 perspective, it really doesn't matter. You can combine nodes in written in C++, and on the other side, you can have nodes written in Python. Really doesn't matter. And if you run this node, let's see what will happen. I heard hello world 82, hello world 83, 84, etc. So the message is being transmitted more or less in real time. You can see the message that's being published and the message that's being received. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you liked this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Also, on my YouTube channel, you can find more than 700 free video tutorials covering various topics such as machine learning, robotics, control engineering, signal processing, electronics, FPGAs, microcontrollers, and even some lightweight topics such as, for example, video editing or Blender tutorials. Okay, that's all and see you in the next video tutorial.